Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1019. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1017 to 1020, click on the link below the video. In this video here, I want to enter a date here and have text show up of the current month, next month, and two months ahead. And I want to do it with a formula. So let's look at the E date. Now, the E date is a great function. You give it a start date, whatever it is. And I'm going to lock this using the F4 key, comma, and you tell it how many months to go into the future or the past. So if I type a 1 here, it'll give me the first of next month. Now that's showing up as, because uh, we don't have um, number formatting there. If I change this to minus 1, this will give me last month the first. If I were to change this to the 15th, E date gives me the 15th of last month. Absolutely beautiful. Control Z. However, we want to start with this month, so you put a 0. Now that's kind of silly, but for our formula, it will work. Now, as I copy this over, I would like it to change to 5 and then 6. Well, that would require that the 0 changes to 1. I don't want to have to type these all out, so I want to do it with a formula. So I'm going to put a number increment or formula element into this month argument. Now let's do it down here. We can look at the columns function. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Columns function. Now columns. I'm going to, since I'm sitting in B6, type dollar sign B6 colon B6. Now columns looks at a range and tells you how many columns there are. Well, how many are there between B and B? There's simply one. But because this is locked and this is not when I copied it, it'll be an expandable range. The B will change to C. So copy this over. If I come over here, B changed to C. There are two columns. Now I want 0 all the way to 2, so I simply subtract 1. Now I have my formula number incrementer. I can uh, copy this, escape, and come here and replace it. Put it right there, Control V. Now I actually want this to sit in uh, the same cell that the formula is in. Watch this. I'm going to point to the edge and click and drag. Isn't that cool? All right, Control Enter and drag it over. So now we have the serial numbers we want. We want text. There's a great function, and I'll give you one guess what it's called. It takes a number and formats it as text. It's called the text function. Now, there's the value. We come to the end, type a comma, and watch. It says, hey, give me the format. Well, the format for custom number format for date is easy. D is day, M is month, Y is year. So I'm going to in double quotes. This argument requires double quotes. Double quote, M, 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 four M's. One M would just give you the number. Two M's would give you, in fact, let's look at it. It would give me 0, 4 if I copy this over. If I changed it and watch this, I can highlight. And the active cell, I hit F2. If I now add a third M, it'll show text, the three-letter abbreviation, Control-Enter formulas in edit mode to populate this new formula into all the highlighted cells. I Control and Enter. And finally, if I F2 and change it to a fourth M, Control Enter, boom, there I have it. So now I can come here and type whatever, 7. And there we have it. The text entries uh, pop out the next three months. All right, um, that's a wild formula there. We'll see you next video.